Now on nine, after months of legal challenges, Gastonia police just released this body camera video. It shows the moments when officers arrested an army veteran and tased his dog. Hey, call your dog off. 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 Sir, call your dog off. Call your dog off. He just bit me. He bit me. Call your dog off. To Charlie. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. We need Joshua Rohr's dog died three days after this encounter. He pushed for months to get the videos released so everyone can see what happened. Our guest and county reporter Ken Lemon has been looking through all the video. Ken? Yeah, and it's two hours worth of police body camera video right here at this, interac at this uh, intersection showing the interaction between police and Joshua Rohr. It started with a conversation about panhandling and ended with Rohr on the ground in tears and his dog tased. Call your dog off. It was intense, <laughs> combative, I need my dog. and draining, says Joshua Rohr. It's just so hard to comprehend all of the things that they did wrong. He said officers confronted him about panhandling on Cox Road. Officer Maurice Taylor and Sierra Brooks warned they could arrest him and take his service dog. Things went bad when they tried to get his ID to write a ticket. It's well, not even valid. Give me it's your state ID. Uh, turn around. You're being arrested. Whoa, what turn for, around. dude? Turn around. Are you kidding turn me? Turn around. Do you turn around. see this? Turn around. Somebody help me! In the video, you can hear Officer Taylor saying the dog bit his shoe, but you don't see it. He just bit me. He bit me. Seconds later, the dog jumped on the hood of a cruiser, but seemed calm. Call your dog off. Taylor uses taser. Please. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. We need, we need. Give me my Charlie 10 City, we need more units. We need more units. Help me! Stop! What are you doing? I'll never forget it. Roar is a veteran. He said Sunshine was his service dog that helped him through his PTSD from a tour in Afghanistan. Days after Sunshine was tased, she was hit and killed by a car. Roar blames the tasing, saying the dog was disoriented. They have no idea what they took from me. Roar has been fighting for months for the video to be released because he wants the officers to be charged. This is just the beginning. Somebody help me! He says the officers could have de-escalated the situation and none of this would have happened. Can they say anything to make it right for you? No, they can't do anything to make it right. The police haven't commented about that video, but yesterday in court, an attorney for the police department says that officers have been threatened. Eventually, though, the judge sided with Roar and decided to release all of that video, Scott. All right, our Ken Lemon live tonight. Ken, thank you. The full video clips are up as well on our website and mobile app.